Hello and welcome back to Risk of Rain. New microphone! Yes! You may have seen my one minute review, if not, you see now. And I can finally talk shit. Well, I could before, but at least my shit is now high quality. Do you know what else is shit? Accurate. I don't like Accurate a lot. When I get the wrong items. So let's play him! Alright, I'm gonna move to the um, right leg. I'm always moving to the right first. I don't know why, unless I start at the very left. Um, Ekrit is basically about poisoning the enemy into oblivion. Which is cool. The poison uh, Ekrit has is pretty damn strong. He has the poison trail, obviously. He has um, this poison range attack, which is uh, jumping from enemy to enemy if it kills somebody. Which later it will, hopefully, if I get the right items, that is. And, um, well, he has a poison sh snort. And he has his basic attacks, which also poison the enemy. He's all about poison, really, and that's why you want, um, not quite attack speed, but perhaps anything else. Maybe, for example, when I play accurate, I really like to get a lot of on-hit effects. Killing enemy sets of crowd of fire, that's actually a good start, if not the best start, but still good. So, in theory, I have two trails now if I kill this enemy, if I understood this right. Yes, here's the fire trail, and below that would be, in theory, a um, poison trail. But the poison trail is not gonna happen right now, for obvious reasons. E.g., see, see they, they don't just jumped and killed everything. Um, see, because, um, well, can't. Uh, they were, was already, well, you could say that they were already dead. Um, no, the poison trail didn't actually, uh, I mean, it ran out already, so... I'm focusing on getting the small imps for the bonus item, which is hitting enemies drop dynamite, used to detonate. Alright, this is a good item, I guess. It gets good if you fight a lot. It accurate is in range, and ranges do have a little problem, as I mentioned before. Uh, melee. Uh, here's a melee, holy crap, what I'm talking about. And I talked about those problems before. Melee's solo sometimes have a problem when it fights against really big stacks of units. Now, no exception for accurate. Uh, the only exception to that rule is probably the loader, because you can stun lock just everybody with it, but that's just a little exception out of a pretty big sky of shit when it comes to melees and ranged combat. Now, I'm gonna try to clear them again, this time without poison. I'm just gonna sh Oh fuck, I missed. I'm just gonna shoot that guy, and it jumped, perfect. Not sure if I can get this rest in 4 seconds. Probably not. I can still try though. Ah, not gonna work. I don't even know where they are. So, that failed. That, that, that statue was already very, um, let, let's just say I didn't like it to begin with. Because in my opinion that statue was just a little bit on the edge, quite literally. Just for accurate, you never want to be on the edge, obviously. He is accurate after all, he's a melee. You never want to screw up with melees. So they will die, that's a given. I can get myself a drone. Now after I kill this own item, I can actually get the item even when I kill this, because I can fight a boss. And I will, what is this for a drone? And it's a health drone, oh that's actually pretty nice, as a melee. So let's go back and activate this, I get the Vendoring Vendorant, which is um, contrary to probably um, an, a newbie's belief, this boss is actually quite easy with accurate, especially with the items I already have. Um, I'm just gonna shoot and kill things with it. And then I gonna leave this trail, which will be stronger because I kill a mass of people on them, that means fire trail. Then the Ring Regrant actually can have this buff, which is um, the, the debuff from your auto attacks is stacking up. Then the Ring Regrant decides very easily to kill with that buff alone, because really he doesn't sh do something and he stands right into you, so we have that. And he drops the boss weapon, which is much better than what I have. Um, Nemus Torsic Nuzzle is called. It's one of the most potent boss weapons in this game, in my quite honest opinion. I love it, I love it so much. It's just so great. Just if the enemy doesn't die, gonna tell you why. Um, because I have it off cooldown now. We just need an enemy. Alright, do we have an enemy? Note that I see one. Alright. Oh wait, alright, we have this one. And it basically just does exactly what the boss does. And it has a very low cooldown. It's very strong. And I like it. It's one of my favorite um, on-use abilities. It's not the strongest one in the game, fair. I think that if you can aim correctly, uh, Twip is stronger, much stronger. Uh, but it's also an instantaneous nuke, and this one has very low cooldown, so you can kite your enemy around with it quite for a long while. 
Another thing is it's, it's auto-aim, so it's again a kiting weapon. You can kite easily with this. It's one enemy remaining, just gonna kill him with my bolts of terror. One bo bigger problem this weapon has, which is why it's only one of the best, not the best weapon, is because it's single target damage. Um, if you use on unuse, on the melee especially, you never want to use single target damage. At least in my opinion, like, other people like single target damage, but I don't. If I play melees on random sh random seats like this, it's for me, it's always about the multi-target damage. Always. There's no single target damage to be found um, if you try to kite your enemy around. And if I ever go full um, the, 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 the greatest difficulty I can get and I go new gun plus, then you'll see why. Um, really, all those builds relying on uh, heavy AoE, not auto aiming, you, you'll see their flaws just when I reach the point where they become savvy. Well, auto use items are to be fair, um, on use items to be fair, in end game stages are not really as useful as in early game stages, so getting this item early is a really big plus. But um, they're still useful them later, and this is when I prefer kiting anyway, because their monsters will get so absurdly strong, there's literally no point in trying to take them on differently. And we have to found a boss. I don't feel like doing the boss right now. There are so many items laying around right here, I should probably farm a little bit more. Especially because I'm playing Eckrit, a character which needs more experience than so many more characters in this game. Like, without experience, Eckrit is losing because his main damage is coming from a stackable buff. So, what, what if you have a stacking buff, so what do you want to do? Especially, um, you actually always want to take um, on hit effects because you, as I said, you have to stack, but that's not a big deal. The big deal what you want to do is having a high level so the stacking buff actually deals the damage. Because right now you can see the tanks that for quite a while before it finally goes down. And, um, well, I hope this dive I can purchase right here is helping me with that. It's not if I can't pick it up, though. So, because this knife is adding me an on-hit bleed effect, which is basically the same like my normal auto attack. It just deals a lot more dot damage, and we have those really annoying shrooms just gonna kill them with the dots. Accurate more than any melee, even more than loader has range abilities up this ass, like, he's a mi se semi, really, he, he, I, I can do both of them. Snake Owls, oh god, gain critical strike shots of failing a shrine, removed and succeeding a shrine. Now this item is not really good. <laughs> I don't like this item, like, it's it's just insane if you can get it stacked up, but if you can't get it stacked up, and believe me, it's not that easy to get an item based on a chance which gets higher for you, Every time you try, um, it's not the best thing. I had it stacked on 6 once, and this was just insane damage, yes. But getting it stacked on 6, I had this, as I said, once. And really, that's just something that doesn't happen a lot. Now, I got this, and I don't want the fruit. Fruit sucks, don't like it. B below there, a lot of shrooms. Gonna kill some of them. Gonna get the money. The money is flying right towards me. And, oh, we have a little data lock I haven't had before. Nice. So just gonna kill them with the poison trail and just with auto attacks. No big deal. Because I have my healing ru um, healing um, drone, I can actually take some risk. Gonna attack the boss, which was this magma worm, which is a really easy boss on Magrid. And I got a second rusty blade, which is also very nice. Um, this boss is in theory very easy because I just run around the big poison trail, and then the magma worm should be almost at a point where he kills himself. Problem is one thing first of all there's a lot of monsters right there which I don't like second of all I don't get lucky with the worm right a lot as you can see but the, my, the boss weapon did so much damage on him it doesn't even matter if I can use the tactic on him and um, the poison trail tactic I just need to pound him down and not die if I can po pound him down it's already easy enough Alright, so eek, eek, this is a lot of bullshit. Just gonna finish them off with a possibility. Dot jumps around a little. And we have a level up, which is maybe a little lucky. Oh god, this was actually very unlucky. I am about to die. Alright, healing drone, do your best. So I got the damage on the boss. Oh, and he spawned one of the most annoying bosses, uh, mobs in this game, as I already has mentioned. My hatred for those... Monsters is so deep It's actually even worse than for the boss. I hated to fight except with loader If you remember correctly, there was this one boss where I said I hate to fight him unless I'm playing loader um, as a melee Because he was just a plain annoying ass. So, you know the lava boss last part remember? Yeah, 
That one, he was he's just plain annoying to fight with melees, and I hate those monsters just as much. Not with melees, but with every class. The damage over time is sadly not having the effect I wanted it, and I didn't hit the stronger dot, so I really just fighting for time right here. Uh, and I hope that I'm not getting hit anymore because that would actually kill me. Oh my godness, calm the hell on. Again, I didn't hit. Holy crap, I'm not good at this game today. Alright, come on. Come on. Fucking hell. Dot is not helping if the magma worm decides to throw a tantrum. But at least I can clear up everything else. I'm so low at life, I don't want to engage the Magma Worm right now, just because I'm afraid that he will kill me, and he will probably will. He has 120 HP left, so just for just for your reference, this is stupid. I take first at lower health, which is actually very helpful, especially for Equit, who is going to be constantly at lower health. Nice. And a Voodoo Door, which I don't want, sorry. Should I hunt for treasures? I have so much money. No, it's not gonna be happening. Not happening. Not go my Romal empty stage just because I have money. Oh. Alright, there seems to be quite a lot of enemies over there, but... Can easily fuck them over. They don't seem to be that dangerous after all. Alright, now I'm moving. Now we're talking. I hope you all die a very painful death. Alright, I have two more enemies I can't really reach, which is great. Just, just use this one. Should kill them off. No? Alright. Change of plans, I have to run the map, so let's make use of all the money I have and I don't need. I can't just jump the next stage, sadly, I have to kill everything. At least the enemy stops spawning as soon as I have um, hit the switch for the boss. Which is why sometimes I do. Just because of this feature. Now I hope they still finish this off. I'm getting a... a oh, nice, I don't have to roam it after all that. I wasn't sure if they even hit it, but then I realized this is a map range and as soon as I would go on zoom 1 I would actually have still seen them. But you can't play zoom 1 with melees alone, that's just not gonna work. You'll be so out of position for most of the enemies, this is ah, not good. Frozen Tundra, a stage I usually hate, but with accurate. Accurate is actually very strong on the stage. Um, apparently. Apparently so. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God. Well, maybe he's strong, but just not with my items. The thing is, you can stack the debuff up on any, a lot of enemies on this map. Because a lot of enemies just don't care. She and Marie, what is this? So much damage over time, it is. Can I? I never tried. No, I can't. Sadly, I was. I, I never had a seat where there was one open way up to the right. I was. Maybe you could change the map direction with that, but sadly, this is not the case. Would have been awesome, if a little broken. I don't have to kite yet. I just have to kill the green guy. Otherwise, kiting becomes impossible anyway. So poison field and poison trap them, and it's all about dots. Well, see, they just die. Oh, tough times. We do this damage by quite a lot. Like, alright, usually it's 40% and 40% doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm playing in melee. And 40% on a melee, he was actually always tanky. He's even more tanky than Loader if you check his HP at this point. The only reason I had more with um, Loader on level 11 was because Meat Heaps. I got an item which basically increased my maximum life points. Now, um, I don't have that item right now. I actually got two. I actually had one that increased my life points flat and one that increased my life points per kill. But, oh, it's a torsam. I don't want that, so sorry. Oh, I lagged. Well, that's not good because they da damage me. They're not only a lot, they do actually quite. My drone is eating some shit right here. I don't really want that. Oh. 
People talk about a misplay, but I'm talking about skill. This is a lot of enemies swarming me right now. You may, m might have seen that I'm bouncing around like a fucking idiot. That I do this for a reason. Because many of those enemies are melee only, and if I jump around, they can't really just kill me. And I lost my drone. Where is it? It lays in the dust. Well, I need it though. It's really important to me. It heals me. I mean, without this here, we'll be losing so much faster. Now let's grind more money on this choke point right here. Because I have to drone, it heals me up again. Everything is fine. Metal 40. Poison trail. Split shot. Poison shot. Kill. Kill next. Nice. Oh, and he's just standing there, not mi minding his own business. He's probably gonna die. No, he's not. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna finish off the, oh, off the safe way then. Oh, it's another one of those mi fuckers. Then I'm just gonna finish off the, off the safe way for sure this time. No need to play extra greedy, right? And we go out. Plasma chain. Change the terror yourself to an. Uh, this is not good. This is actually not good at all for this character. Should have skipped. But I don't like skipping. Never skip. Especially not if you have grinded for it. I come on. I'm not gonna grind those two, three enemies right there, it's not, it's not worth it, I mean I have uh, a lot of gold so I can open another chest or pray at a statue sometimes, but right now it's more worth sending the fucking exit to this level because I don't like, oh god damn it, Ekrits, try at least, please. Finally. Oh come on, don't tell me, don't tell me I get blocked off the stage right there. No, I have to walk all the way back and try a different approach. Nice, look at all those enemies, just waiting for me, right? Just must just just you know what? I'm just gonna kill him with damage over time. Stop damage time. Make sure they're gonna let them kill you themselves. Nice. Problem is those things can jump. And they have a very annoying sound if they get hit. Oh look, an enemy. Which I gladly um smash to pieces. Now, uh, let's be fair, the Plasma Chain is dealing quite a lot of damage to anything that isn't me. But, I am a melee anyway, so it's not really worth it, because I can't just long-range attack somebody, get tethered, and then kill everyone with a loader-like um, ultimate ability. On loader it's really great, though, because on loader you find yourself uh, setting up your uh, grind ability anyway, so this is not a big deal. Uh, I haven't known I should have gone here, really, this is just annoying me right now. Oik! So close. Oh my god, I thought I can't make this jump. Then again, the stages are always designed in a way where you can actually finish them without items. But very much hope so. I also want to unlock Chief, but for some reasons I'm not dropping food. Chief is a check that you unlock by having all the meals at least once, but I don't really seem to unlock this right now. Give me this, what's this? Go on, set, get a shield. Your shield recharges when out of combat. Yeah, that's actually pretty strong. And we have a fusion. Killing an enemy increases your health. Here we go. Sadly, I just got it very late. Alright, now I have a plasma chain. It's actually worth a damn. Because I can just, just now stand here and attack the enemy off with my heart's desire. Oh my god! Oh my god. I was full HP. I died in nearly one hit. Did This was really, really fast. Like, oh my god. This is something I did not expect. Well, well this was another run, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Aftermath, signing out.